Namaste. Today we are going to discuss about ovulation. What is ovulation? When does it happen? Why does it happen? How ovulation happens? What are the ovulation abnormalities? And what will happen if ovulation will not happen correctly? Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I am an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. Now before I continue this video, one important information. If you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then below in the description box there is a link. If you click on that link, then this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करते हैं तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर टूडेज टॉपिक एंड दैट इज अ ओव्यूलेशन बींग एन एंडोक्राइनोलॉजिस्ट डॉक्टर आई डील विद अ लॉड ऑफ हॉर्मोनल इशूज वॉट अ वुमेन फेसिस एंड इनफर्टिलिटी इज वन सच इश्यू and this infertility or difficulty in conceiving happens very commonly due to ovulation abnormalities so before we discuss about all the ovulation abnormalities it is very important for you to understand what is the ovulation process in a normal person only when we know about the normal situation then only it is easy for us to understand abnormal positions okay so let's continue our today's topic and that is on ovulation so first question what is a ovulation see ovulation is a process by which your ovary is going to release a mature egg yes see in fact this egg is considered as one of the largest cell of a body also so egg is actually a single a uh, cell now when does this ovulation happen see ovulation is does not run by a clock there is no clock that on this particular day at this particular time ovulation will definitely happen ovulation uh, when it will happen can vary from month to month and from women to women it is dependent on a plenty many parameters like your stress like your food habits whether you are doing any exercise or not whether you have any other health problem or do you have any hormonal problem all these factors affect your ovulation again it depends how regular or irregular is your monthly cycle so when we talk about the monthly cycle in an it is considered ideal cycle duration is a 28 days so if we take a 28 days a cycle as a whole then the ovulation happens on the middle of the cycle that is on the 14th day but as i told you earlier it varies from a month to month and cycle to cycle but usually ovulation happens on 13th to 14th day in a normal 28 day cycle right another question is that how many eggs will be released during one ovulation see ideally a ovulation happens a uh, with a one egg release sometimes there can be two or more egg can also get released and sometimes the egg cannot also get released so that is called as a unovulation so it depends on a cycle to cycle another question is that will i come to know if my body is going to release the egg see this is again a very very important point and this is the most important point especially when we discuss about the infertility and fertility planning in fact every woman for that matter should know about the ovulation whether do you want to plan a pregnancy or if you do not want to plan a pregnancy the knowledge of the ovulation is very important if you are planning for the future pregnancy and if you maintain a good intimate contact during the ovulation period time you have a higher chances of conceiving at the same time let's say if you do not want to plan a pregnancy then in that case you need to avoid intimate contact during that time so you can avoid pregnancy and this calendar method can work even as a contraception 
that is why a knowledge of ovulation is very important for each and every woman now yes ovulation when it will happen you may or may not even come to know see ovulation though it happens on a one single day however it is triggered by plenty many hormonal changes and when these hormone changes happens you will also experience lot of changes in your entire body and by that way you can uh, predict that when ovulation is going to happen by the way what are those body changes when ovulation is going to happen i have made a another video for that so if you want you can watch that video you will understand more in detail but yes knowledge of the ovulation is very important another question is that how the ovulation happens see ovulation gets triggered by a shift of the hormones there is a hormone which is secreted from our pituitary gland which is located in our brain area and this pituitary gland secretes a hormone called as a luteinizing hormone or called as a lh when the lh hormone level rises and it reaches to its peak level it triggers the uh, ovary to release the egg and this usually happens within 24 hours after the lh hormone peak all right see though ovulation release happens for a uh, within a day however the egg is actually not prepared within a day in fact uh, your ovary takes months and sometimes even years for these eggs to prepare and these are called as a follicles so gradually there will be changes in this follicles and gradually it will make a one large follicle and from that large follicle what we call it as a graafian follicle this ovum or a egg will be released okay another question is that what happens to this released egg all right now see what happens it depends on what is going to happen two possibilities can happen possibility 1 that let's assume that during the ovulation process or within a few days prior to ovulation process you were a intimate a uh, connected with a your male partner in that time if your body in your uterus or in your vagina or in your cervix area if there is a semen or a sperm then there is a possibility that this sperm will fertilize this released egg and if the fertilization happens what will happen you will be pregnant isn't it so that is a possibility one and in case if you conceive then this egg which is fertilized with the sperm becomes an embryo and this embryo will later get implanted or will get attached to your wall of the uterus so that is a possibility one either you become a pregnant all right what is the possibility two the possibility two is that when the ovulation has happened at that time or few days prior to that if you were not sexually or intimately connected with your male partner that means there is no sperm present in your body and then of course there is no sperm so there is no possibility of a fertilization and if there is no fertilization what will happen to this egg this egg will be released and will be thrown out from your body via your monthly cycle bleeding all right so that is the future of a egg either it gets fertilized or it will not get fertilized this is the only two possibility which can happen to the released egg all right now let's talk about that are there any abnormalities of the ovulation answer is yes there is a abnormalities present now these abnormalities are mainly two of categories the category 1 is called as a oligo ovulation what is oligo ovulation here the ovulation will happen but may not happen very regularly so in a year if you are having a less than a eight cycles where the egg were not released it is called as a oligo ovulation 
and the second condition is called as a n ovulation an ovulation is nothing but a absence of a ovulation now many people have a question that is it possible to have a menstrual cycle or a monthly cycle without having an ovulation answer is yes it is a very high possibility in fact plenty many hormonal problems are there where a woman does not have a ovulation and they have a n ovulatory cycle so it is a possible so n ovulation is the one where there is a no ovulation both this oligo ovulation and n ovulation can happen to a many conditions and one of the most common condition is called as a pcos that is polycystic ovarian syndrome during the polycystic ovarian syndrome there are plenty many small small follicles and many a time there is no mature follicle which will release the egg so in pcos condition both oligo and n ovulation can be present and that is the reason why these are the women who have a very difficulty in conceiving however there is a treatment so if you have uh, any kind of uh, ovulation related health problem do not worry do not get disheartened visit to your nearby endocrinologist or a gynecologist or a fertility specialist or doctor they will definitely help you out in your this condition all right so today we discussed about the ovulation i hope after watching this video you got some good useful information and if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe so that you get more and more health related information and if you have any of your personal question whose answer you are seeking for write your question below in the comment box i will try and answer them as early as i can we will meet again with some new interesting topic till then take care of yourself namaste